am not actually surprised by what has happened because like the people who do this it's to be expected they can't do anything else they can't be any other way they can't tell the truth about history when have they ever told the truth about history I mean they said Christopher Columbus found the new world and he was shaking hands with the Native Americans and everybody was having a great time had a meal had a joke and, and everybody parted ways and were friends right now they have done a sculpture a bust of Nefertiti now they have been doing this for a long time with Cleopatra saying that you know this woman was from Egypt she she's a pharaoh so is Nefertiti and saying that they are a Caucasian female and it's insulting it's black history month and they decide to do it now they decide to come out here. So basically they're picking and prodding and trying to get a rise out of black people, which there are people talking about it, but it's not like anybody is angry or up in an uproar. It's just like, what do you expect from these people? I mean, they whitewashed the Bible. They whitewashed Jesus. And his name, the name is, is whitewashed. They have whitewashed Egypt. They've whitewashed Native Americans. They whitewashed Cleopatra. So, of course, they're going to whitewash Nefertiti. When you read this article and you reading the names, those are traditional. African names and to set up here and to believe that someone like this had that kind of name wore that kind of garb is absolutely disgusting you cannot go by the people who are there now you have to go back in ancient history when you go back the darker people get I don't I don't understand what they're trying to do or what's going on mentally with these people because it's not so much of an insult it's more of what's going on with these people in their mind what's what's off with their mental state that they keep doing this and keep trying to present this they they have presented movies they have presented art they have done a bus they've done sculptures and they keep perpetuating that every great civilization every pharaoh every king everyone who is attributed to power and wealth is them they know good and damn well that if they couldn't bring their asses over here to america it was supposed to be a Caucasian utopia because you know since they want to sit up here and talk about Irish indentured servants they were um, supposed to work they were supposed to make this land a utopia for them but they couldn't work out in those fields like that. They couldn't work in that sun not even in the south here in America they were dropping dead from from the heat so to set up here and say that somebody like this was in Africa in that African heat and they're being sunburned they are being sunburned in the United States like nobody's business the sunscreen is not working so you know there's several stories of them being burned by the Sun just here so what more would happen to them in Africa if they don't take protective measures those with super light skin or who are Caucasian they do have to take protective measures and use prescription sunscreen going over to um, some of the countries in Africa so 
to think that you're going to get me to believe this bust is real. You're out of your goddamn mind. And then they tried to say, well, the men were out working, so they were darker. Um, usually the women were lighter skin and they stayed inside. You know what? I that's the best that they could do that's the best that they could come up with because this is a joke this is an absolute joke for desperate people i don't know what's going on with them it looks like they're slipping mentally there's so many videos out there that you can watch on the identity of cleopatra on the identity of nefertiti and all of these ancient egyptian pharaohs so you don't have to take the word of someone who is known to twist history and to lie flat out lie about history and to even say that african americans immigrated here if they would say that you know anything that comes from them cannot be trusted because this woman was hailed as one of the most beautiful women in the world. And this woman is not beautiful. She's not pretty. There were a few people who said Nefertini was not this ugly white lady next. And then this lady said the Today Show really had the audacity to make Queen Nefertiti look like a white woman. Here um, he said when you leave your history in the hands of white people to examine and reconstruct why won't Nefertini come out looking like a ghost not resembling her true black self shaking my head <laughs> he's working on a series and he's the one who's been presenting this farce on television and it's to be expected this is their mo this is what they do they said nefertiti did not look like barbara streisand in miami uh, they're gonna try to tell us that Nefertiti was white during the blackest month of the year. Me seeing the white Nefertiti. How come Nefertiti look like Susan from Connecticut? But yeah, basically it's just, you know, a slap and black people's face misrepresenting history misrepresenting what women look like they know there are some dark-skinned women who have certain features that people would say is more european like so they know there's women in plenty of african countries that look like that they just want to they have nothing better to do they have nothing better to do if they couldn't mess with black people they would just cease to exist and die but i'll go ahead and leave it right here let me know what you think about this farce of a bust and i will see you in the next one I'm